So we're a drug discovery company that develops molecules using cutting edge technologies to the point where they're ready to be licensed. Where we're different probably to most companies is we don't plan to take anything to the clinic. We plan to have enough in our portfolio that every year we eventually will license three to four molecules to the larger pharmaceutical companies who will then develop them. We've just recently done one of those deals. We've carried out um, a licensing program where we've licensed a molecule for $294 million with a $10 million upfront. That's an example of what we'll be able to do in the future. Uh, we've recently also been out and raised money and we, were, we had a fantastic reception in the marketplace. We raised 10 million, 10 million pounds sterling. And that means we've got cash in the bank and we've got the technologies working now for us. And I think of it as a drug discovery engine that's now turned over once and we're going to accelerate it to do that over and over again. Large pharmaceutical companies are doing less and less of their own research. They're doing development but not much research. So they're looking for innovation all the time and they license it again. So that's our model to give them what they need. If you have fantastic technologies and you produce best-in-class molecules, you are their best customer. So this company will produce so many good molecules that the licensing of those molecules will bring in revenues that allow us to invest in finding more. And therefore our growth will be down to using our innovation to get those molecules. The drug discovery process starts with identifying what you're going to target in the body, what protein, and our first technology is a genetics, te genetics analysis technology. So we are able to analyse genetic data sets from diseased patients versus control patients and find genes that are highly associated with the disease. So for instance, in the last year we've found over 100 genes associated with Parkinson's disease. You've got to then find a small molecule that works against that protein. And we have a proprietary technology that can see the shape of small molecules, actually see what it looks like in real terms. So if you're looking for a key to fit in a lock, if you know the shape of the key, to design a key is much easier than if you don't know and you're just fishing in the dark. That has proven incredibly successful. And using that technology along with computational chemistry and other drug discovery technologies, we're able to move along the pathway to getting a molecule ready for the clinic much quicker uh, and probably a better molecule than most people can do. One thing that we've developed in-house recently, which is really taking the chemistry world by storm, is uh, a technology that allows you to see molecules in virtual reality. So we have chemists now who literally hold one molecule in their hand and grab another molecule and see if they look the same and fit together. And this is giving them completely new insights into how you design drugs. We continually look to the outside world of what technologies they have that fit in any of those spaces and are cutting edge and we partner with those. So we've recently established a partnership with eTherapeutics that have a really good data mining technology for looking at um, biological networks. We then access that by working with them in partnership. So we, we don't say we've got everything, but we access the best of everything to move forward. Our industry is, is a data rich industry and now the ability to get hold of data, data mine, big data, use artificial intelligence and then use technologies that are right at those cutting edges to get to the point where you can design better drugs against better targets for, for diseases means that we're going to use all those things and not sit back and just do things the way others have done it. We've just done a deal with Indivial for our first target, imagine we're doing at least three of those every year. You start looking at that business model, it's very, very um, cash generative and very, very attractive to investors.